Mecklenburg Schools bus driver charged with leaving students on a running bus as he drove off the route. Door left open. I came here to a press conference to get an explanation from school leaders. Watch what happens when I try to ask questions. But first, exclusive details on breaking news were on your side questioning the Charlotte Mecklenburg School Superintendent about your child's safety after what you just saw there. Nick, we uncovered a CMS bus driver charged with child abuse. So thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Molly Grantham. And I'm Siobhan Bryan. Court documents say he abandoned the bus with the door open, the engine running, and students still on board. WBTV's chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner was first to break the news online this afternoon. Okay, so Nick, what are school leaders saying about this case? Yeah, Molly Siobhan, school leaders haven't said anything. This incident happened in September. The public was never notified. And when I tried to talk with CMS Superintendent Dr. Crystal Hill at a planned press conference this afternoon, she refused to answer me. Bus driver Mark Foster is facing nine counts of child abuse. Court documents say Foster drove his bus off its planned route, left nine kids on board with the engine still running and the door open. The court documents don't specify what Foster did when he left the bus or indicate what happened next. According to the court documents, though, one of the children on the bus was Foster's child. This incident reportedly happened on September 19th, but school leaders did nothing to alert the public. So today at that planned press conference with the superintendent, I tried to ask Dr. Hill about this incident and why the you, the public, wasn't notified about yet another safety issue on a CMS school bus. Dr. Hill, we're trying to ask questions about student safety. Why won't you answer our questions? Mr. Oshner, if you made an appointment to have a conversation about student safety, I believe that there was a press uh, release that was released by Deputy Secretary in her office, and we detailed what today was about. It was not about school safety. Dr. Hill, this is a press am, conference for members of the media. I want to ask you about a school bus driver who's now charged with child abuse because he went off his bus route with nine students on board, left the engine running, left the door open, and your school district didn't tell the public about it. Why did you cover it up? The superintendent has to leave to go to the board meeting. So. Uh, uh, this is a question of student safety. Parents tell me that their students aren't safe in CMS. Let me speak to you. Okay? I have an obligation to keep all students in Charlotte Mecklenburg School safe. I took an oath to do that. I will continue to do that. There is absolutely no reason for me to communicate because you know and I know that it is against the law to communicate about personnel issues. It's actually not if he was when terminated. Students, when students are in any danger, we communicate with parents. I am not having this conversation with you right now because you were well informed about the purpose of today. I have a board meeting to get to, and I hope you have a wonderful yeah, day. Dr. Thank Hill, you. the state personnel law actually says you can talk about disciplinary action taken. And now, I tried to keep asking questions, as you can see on the screen, but an armed CMS police officer, there are two of them right there, held the door shut. It's happening right now. She leaves, held the door shut, and wouldn't let me leave, even though it was after school and we're on school grounds. Now, this isn't the first major safety concern I've uncovered on a CMS school bus this year. Worried parents have previously called me three different times because their daughters reported being sexually assaulted on a school bus. And another concerned mom called after her son was dropped off the school bus bleeding from the nose and mouth. We'll continue to press school leaders to answer the ongoing safety concerns we're hearing from parents. Molly?